Now we've got, next one we're going to do is warm up the outside of the hip. So you're going to take your leg and place it again up on top of an object where you feel a medium level stretch. Sometimes it's 24 inches high, 36 inches high. And cross your leg just like this. You want to make sure that you don't feel pressure through the knee that's up, in this case the right knee. And same thing, you feel a mild stretch in the right hip. If you need to, you can squat down a little bit. And then he's going to move his hips forward and backward again. So tilting hips forward, squeezing butt backwards, moving through the hips, through the pelvis, to feel that stretch on the outside of the right hip. So you're going to feel a lot of, uh, a lot of butt stretch on this one, a lot of glute stretch. You've had you've heard of the word piriformis syndrome or piriformis problems. You may feel this in that region. Then after forward backward, you're going to go side to side with his hips. And again, it's a, it's a, a, a hip shift. I always said, just pretend like you're hip checking somebody right to left. He's going to do that five to, five to ten times. And then the third is rotation. He's going to rotate. And again, think about your hips, your pelvis there being a steering wheel. And you're going to turn it right to left. It's just not your shoulders. Your shoulders are going to follow but you drive it through your hips five times. All right, now we have the outside of the hip warmed up, and now we're going to go into a hip flexor stretch. So again, we're going to put your foot up on a tall object, 24, 36 inches high. The back leg, you're going to make sure that the toe is just slightly toed inward on that bottom foot that's on the floor. And then he's going to put the top leg up. We're going to go forward, tighten the butt up on the back leg, so in this case the left leg, and then raise those arms up overhead as tall as you can, pushing your hip forward. That's the key. This stretch is going to be right through the front, in this case, of the left hip. Real important in running. And he's going to start with arms up and down five to ten times. Then he's going to put his arms overhead and he's going to weight shift and he's going to go side to side. Again, hip check, moving both the upper body and the lower body side to side, warming up that hip three-dimensionally. After five to ten of those, then he's going to rotate. So again, rotate through the hips, right to left, but the upper body goes with the motion and the arms are real long. This opens up the chest, whole body pattern. And again, five times right to left. All right, the last warm-up stretch we have to do before those officials get up on the field is to warm up the calf. So we're going to get into a regular calf stretch position. You can lean up against the wall. Your back leg, start out with that back knee, is going to be in a straight position. The opposite leg, we're going to have you swing it side to side. Big emphasis is on the outside part of the swing. What that does is prepare your foot, your calf muscle, three-dimensionally for how it reacts during the motion, what we call pronation. Foot right now, that calf is going inward. Now we're going to do that same stretch with the knee in the bent position. So about five to ten, kicks to the side, knee straight, now with the bent position. Keep the heel down as you're doing this stretch. That warm ups pronation. Now the next part you're going to do is you're going to warm up supination. So same calf stretch, but this time the leg's going to cross over on a 45 degree angle, come up and across. So you're, probably, you're trying, in this case, take your left knee right up towards your right elbow or your right armpit. The calf, again, stays on the ground, first in a knee straight position, and then now he's going to demonstrate it in a knee bent position. Now this replicates, if you see what's happening, supination at the calf muscle. Again, the second phase or second part of running. So now we've warmed up that calf.